In this video, I'll show you how to add flooring to our SketchUp house. Okay, at this point, with our walls up, our window openings in, um, we're missing a floor, and we need to put that in. Uh, right now, it's just the walls that are making up our model, uh, with no floor at all down below it. Uh, so the way to add the floor is to basically close in our, our shape, close in the footprint of the house using lines. Uh, now on my floor plan on this house, I only have one exterior door. So I only have one sort of break in the perimeter of the house, one spot uh, where the floor is not closed in by lines. Uh, if your house has more than one door, you're, gonna have, you're going to have to add more than one line here. Uh, but for me, with my one door, I'm going to just add the one line. I'll click line. I'll zoom in. And I'll just click here at the end point from one side of the doorway over to the end point on the other side of the doorway. And you'll see now I've got this sort of dark line. So that's showing that it's a, it's a perimeter here. We've got this dark black line. And the floor plan, the, the, the floor itself kind of filled in. Now, typically, it would fill with just a color. But I think since we used that translucent, that, uh, that sort of gray glass on the previous video, that's what it filled in with this time. Uh, if we go to the paint bucket tool, we pull this in again, we click on glass and mirrors. And let's pick one of these different translucent colors. Maybe I'll click this translucent yellow and fill that in. Seems to be swapped a little bit. I'm getting blue. That's kind of funny, but we'll go with it. Uh, now I've got this translucent color, and you can see I've got a floor uh, all the way through my house. Now also, because I was able to click once and change the entire floor, right? we can tell that our rooms aren't separated. So if I want different kinds of floors in different rooms of the house, I have to separate these rooms from each other with lines. Uh, I know that for my house, I'll, I'll want a uh, living room and master bedroom to have a wood floor. I'm going to put carpet in this corner bedroom here. We'll have tile in the kitchen and the bathroom, right? So to do that, to split those up, let's go to the line tool. I'll go to these doorways. I'll zoom in a bit so I can see better. And for these on the inside of the house, I'll try to connect my lines to the midpoints. I just think that divides it more neatly. It'll look a little nicer. So we'll hover over the midpoint. You'll see a blue circle, right? Click on one side. Click on the midpoint at the other side. Now we can zoom out. We'll do the same the next room. Zoom in a bit. Hover over. Find the midpoint. Click. Hover. Midpoint. Click. That's good. I'll come over to the next doorway, midpoint, midpoint, click. Do the same over here. Midpoint, midpoint. And I think that for my house, that's all I need. Okay, in order to actually put in the flooring, uh, we're going to go to the paint bucket tool. So click paint bucket. Uh, we don't need glass and mirrors anymore. But let's start with the wood floor. So I'm going to come down to wood. Click that. And I think for this house, I'm going to choose this as the wood floor option. I'll just paint that in, in the living room. Oh, and I see that I've missed, I forgot to divide my living room from my kitchen. So I'm going to undo. Click the little undo button here. Grab my line tool. And this one, these walls aren't lined up quite as perfectly. So I'm not going to go quite to the midpoint on both. But I'll keep it straight by keeping it to the red line here. We'll go with that. Okay, we'll try that one more time. Click paint bucket. Wood floor. Going to put that wood floor in the living room. And I'll put that in the master bedroom, and that'll go right through to that walk-in closet. I think that looks pretty good. 
close that back down. I wanted carpet in this corner bedroom. So I'll come up to carpet. And I think I'll put this gray carpet in there. Kind of like that. So I'll click this. Paint in the carpet. For the tile, let's click the tile here in our options. And I think I'll put this gray tile in the kitchen. That works. And this white tile in the bathroom. All right, and with that, I have flooring throughout my house. I can close this panel, don't need that anymore. And you can follow those same steps to put the flooring in your house. Okay, uh, put in those floors. When you're set, save your work. And we'll see you for the next step in the next video.